Okay. Show me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dr. Sheet channel. Thank you very much for tuning in to a video about multi-bind, which is a, a feature of TBS, Team Black Sheep, Crossfire. So this here is a Crossfire remote, uh, the Tango 2 this is, but multi-bind is a feature of all, at least all of the recent Crossfire transmitters. In this video I'm going to give you a quick demo of what multi bind actually is, so I'll show you what it does. And for that I quickly need to explain to you what the, the purpose or the premise of multi bind actually is. This here is an FV drone, nothing new, you've seen it all before, right? So this actually flies on 2.4 GHz, so not Crossfire, and I fly it with this here radio, which is a 2.4 GHz radio. So that works, right? The, the quad coupler has a 2.4 GHz receiver, 2.4 GHz radio, and that all works. However, what if I want to fly this quad copter with this radio here? Uh, for that to happen, I have to replace the receiver in my quad copter and have to bind that receiver to this radio. Because these two radios uh, run on different protocols. But even if these two radios were on the same protocol, I'd at least have to rebind the receiver to this new radio. So in a professional environment that might happen because for instance this radio is broken, someone dropped it, or maybe you simply took the wrong radio to the job site. So I've replaced the quadcopter as you can tell, also an IFAC quadcopter, but that's just a coincidence. What if I told you that I can fly this quadcopter with this here radio? but also with this here radio. Without any rebinding, I simply take any of these two transmitters and, and fly the quadcopter, no questions asked. And yeah, so that's multi-bind. The quadcopter is actually not really bound to either of these two transmitters. They're bound to my personal user ID, if that, if that makes any sense. It will make more sense in my future video in which I explain multibind, how to set it up and why you'd want to. In this video I'm simply going to demonstrate it. So if you didn't really understand the why or how I just told you, it'll become more clear in my how to video. So let's see if this actually works. Let's do some flying. And here we are out in the field. I've got me two transmitters over there and one quadcopter over there. And I already have the Tango 2, so one of the Crossfire transmitters on. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the green LED over here in daylight, but it is on and it's bound to the quadcopter as you can actually hear. Right, I can actuate uh, the buzzer. So we're gonna fly the quadcopter with this Tango 2 and that's that's not out of the norm, right? You can fly a quadcopter with a transmitter, obviously. There you go. We've got liftoff. And the quadcopter actually flies. No problem whatsoever. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. I'm flying a quadcopter with a radio. You've seen it all before. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll land the quadcopter. Disarm it. There, the green LED on my radio is still on. And we'll put the quadcopter back in its place. Now, what I'll do next is uh, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. You should not be doing this at home. Uh, please be safe. But what I'll do is I'll turn off the Tango 2. So this transmitter I'll turn off. Receiver still connected. There. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that the LED has turned off. But you can hopefully hear that the quadcopter is beeping. That's its fail safe. Okay, so there's no transmitter on at all right now. What I'll do next is I'll turn on this jumper T18. Welcome to Open TX. Acro mode. 
and the beeping has gone away. The green LED, will you be able to see that? I'm not sure. On the, my module is now a green. Or <laughs> the green LED is now green. Yeah, the, the LED is now green, meaning that we have a connection. And we should be able to fly the quadcopter with this radio again without even without even uh, replacing or disconnecting the battery. There you go. So needless to say I have not rebound the receiver to this new radio or to this new module. So, yeah, no problem. Again, I am flying the quadcopter as if nothing happened, but with another radio, without powering down the quadcopter, without uh, replacing its receiver, without rebinding the receiver. And that is what multi-bind is. Now, um, again, ordinarily you'd power down the quadcopter in between switching from one transmitter to the next. But this was, uh, well, to demonstrate that I didn't replace the receiver, that I didn't uh, off-screen rebind the receiver or anything. No trickery. I am now flying the quadcopter with that other radio. And uh, yeah, perfect uh, fail-safe or fail-over backup scenario. I've accidentally dropped my Tango on the floor. It doesn't uh, work anymore. This way I'm still in the air. Hi Chicky Day. There you go. And again, um, maybe the, the sun has uh, gone away a little. Uh, the green LED on my uh, module is still on, so it's still connected to the quadcopter. And I can again actuate its beeper. So that was a quick demonstration of multi-bind running one receiver or even multiple receivers. I could have shown multiple quadcopters here uh, and being able to fly all of them with either of these two radios. And that's multi-bind. Multiple transmitters, single receiver. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned, I will be doing more videos on this subject. Uh, mostly a how-to. If you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.